Good morning to all our engineers. Welcome back to Hospitality Engineering. Today we continue with Boiler Module 4 and Part 2. Boiler Mounting and Accessories What is Boiler Mounting? Boiler mountings are mechanical devices that are considered necessary to operate the boiler smoothly and safely, which are usually mounted on surfaces of the boilers. These are the parts of the system that are mounted on the boiler's own body for protection of the boiler and for complete control of the steam generation cycle. Machinery protects the boiler from damage to itself due to extremely high pressure, steam backflow vacuum shell collapse, irregular steam pressure, low water, pumping backflow, and dry running. The important boiler mountings are as follows. Safety valve. Main steam stop valve. Auxiliary steam stop valve. Water level gauge glass. Air vent valve. Feed check valve. Pressure gauge connection. Blow down valve. Scum blow down valve. Sampling connection. Whistle valve. Low level alarm. Soot blower. Automatic feed valve regulator. Manhole. Mud box. TDS sensor and sample. For your better understanding, please refer to a picture. What are boiler accessories? Boiler accessories are devices and plants that are installed with boilers to improve the operating condition and overall efficiency of the boiler plant. Boiler accessories are devices that are installed along the boiler and the surrounding area to increase the efficiency of the boiler. These are not an indispensable part of the boiler, and thus without installing these devices, the boiler operation can be completed at low efficiency. The important boiler accessories are as follows. Feed pump. Soot blower. Injector. Superheater. Air preheater. Pressure reducing valve. Steam separator. We take a particular package fire tube boiler for each part's identification as follows 1. Steam pressure gauge. 2. Explosion door. 3. Registration number. 4. Coil chamber. 5. Inlet fuel pressure gauge. 6. View glass. 7. Outlet fuel pressure gauge. 8. Fuel injection chamber. 9. Air blower. 10. Air duct. 11. Fuel inlet control solenoid valve. Let's see them one by one in detail. Main steam pressure gauge. The purpose of the pressure gauge is to indicate the boiler inside pressure. Its range is 0 to 25 bar. For laundry and food processing maximum supply steam pressure to be maintained at around 9 bar. Explosion door. This is one of the important safety provisions to avoid furnace explosion. At the time of backfire high pressure smoke will be released through this explosion door. Backfire. Due to malfunction of ignition, spillage of unfired fuel inside the combustion chamber. On its next ignition, the excess unfired fuel will get fired and heavy smoke will be generated, this will create additional instant pressure inside the combustion chamber. Front door. Swing open the door for easy maintenance. Lightweight ceramic insulation. Boiler registration number. Each boiler should be allocated a unique registration number by the boiler inspectorate state or concern authority decided by local codes. Engraving of registration number should be done with 0.4 inches depth in the side of the boiler and approved by chief boiler inspector. Inlet fuel pressure gauge. Range 0 to 40 bar, supply fuel pressure need to maintain 12 bar. Photoresistor. To control the ignition of the electrodes. If the flame is not done at the specified time then, the burner goes to electrical lockout and the alarm will get activated. View glass. The main purpose of the view glass is to check the ignition or firing status of the boiler. Return fuel pressure gauge. 
range 0 to 40 bar. Low flame, 4 bar. High flame, 7 bar. Burner rod. By this burner rod, fuel will enter or return to the boiler for firing and is controlled by a solenoid valve. Burner modulating motor. When the steam pressure is less than the set burner fuel pressure will change to high. Firing according to that air and fuel ratio will get changed and vice versa. By this firing, control is achieved. Diesel solenoid valve. To control the flow of fuel as per boiler firing sequences. Forced draft fan. Centrifugal backward curved fan is used to force required air into the combustion chamber as required by burner modulation to complete the combustion and to force flue gases into atmospheric through the chimney after heat is transferred into boiler water which becomes steam in this process. Electrodes In boiler burners, ignition electrodes are used to provide a spark for ignition and ionization electrodes are used to sense the presence of flame. Electrodes are used for the ignition of fuel. Ignition Transformer Ignition Transformer, designed for use with heavy fuels rated for continuous operation. The Ignition Transformer is epoxy molded and enclosed by metal covers for electromagnetic isolation with any electronics nearby. Please refer specification on nameplate details. Fusible Plug It has been given for ultimate safety for the boiler in case of water level sensors fail this plug will expose. To steam and its temperature shoots up to 400 to 420 degrees, as soon as the alloy melts, the plug will be forced into the furnace. This will reverse the steam into the firing chamber and switch OFF the flame. Safety Release Valve It is designed to release steam pressure from the boiler which is generated. When the boiler is in operation, manually test the safety valve by lifting the test lever. The operating pressure should be at least 75% of the safety valve set pressure. In case the boiler fails to cut off with the pressure controller safety valve 1 will get activated at 9.5 bar and if safety valve number 1 fails safety valve number 2 will get activated at 10.2 bar. When testing the safety valve manually. Please refer specification on nameplate details. Air vent valve. The purpose of the air vent valve is to release the air from the boiler and to avoid malfunctioning of water level indicators and mobry operations. Feed Water Pump Boiler feed pumps are designed to handle the amount of pressure your operation needs. Boiler feed water pumps to transport water into boilers using high pressure, thus, a boiler feed pump is built to handle extremely high water pressure to deliver the feed water into the boiler system. Please refer specification for nameplate details. Diesel Pump In this pump, suction receives oil from the tank and pumps it into required pressure to the boiler burner through oil pressure adjustment and solenoid valve. Please refer picture for a clear understanding. Duplex Bucket Filter During normal operations, the strength of the duplex filter is that it can be completely operated maintenance-free, except for checking the seals and cleaning the filter element. With two filter chambers connected with a changeover valve, one chamber isolates in operation while a clean filter chamber is in standby mode. Duplex filters are primarily used where shutting down machines and systems is not practical or highly uneconomical, for example, in the maritime or the production industry. Instruction Drain 1.2 liters of liquid per shift. Clean mesh with solvent once a week. Do not use cotton or wire brush. Mabry Water Level Controller It is a vertical water level controller for industrial steam boilers. Each boiler will have two Mabrys which will operate simultaneously for safety purposes. Safety for low water levels, safety for tubes, fusible plug safety. We must drain Mabry Veil every shift to ensure its operation. Flue Gas Damper Manual Control Valve Please refer picture for a clear understanding. Stack Temperature Sensor The connection between the boiler and a chimney should be either 45 degrees or less. The flue gas velocity is kept between 8 to 10 meters per second to prevent ash from settling in the duct. Fuel and Air Modulation Motor Tools for burner combustion control generally include regulation of excess air, oxygen trim, burner modulation, air or fuel cross-limiting and total heat control. 
The better burner control systems include all of these elements. Please refer picture for a clear understanding. Steam header. A steam header is the main steam supply pipeline, its function is to deliver steam in as high a level of quality, dryness, as possible to the general areas where steam is needed. It is a distribution pipe from a steam source. From it branches laterals to individual users. Please refer picture for a clear understanding. Manhole or inspection chamber. A manhole or inspection chamber is an access point to a boiler vessel, such as an empty the vessel. The presence of a manhole allows the boiler inside fire tubes or pipes to be inspected, surveyed, cleaned, or repaired when required. Steam and water gauge glass. All steam boilers are fitted with at least one water level indicator, but those with a ratting off 100 kilowatts or more should be fitted with two indicators. A gauge glass shows the current level of water in the boiler, regardless of the boiler's operating conditions. Gauge glasses should be installed so that their lowest reading will show the water level at 50 mm above the point where overheating will occur. They should also be fitted with a protector around them, but this should not hinder the visibility of the water level. When testing the gauge glass steam connection, the water cock should be closed. When testing the gauge glass water connections, the steam cock pipe should be closed. To test a gauge glass, the following procedure should be followed. 1. Close the water cock and open the drain cock for approximately 5 seconds. 2. Close the drain cock and open the water cock. Water should return to its normal working level relatively quickly. If this does not happen, then a blockage in the water cock could be the reason, and remedial action should be taken as soon as possible. 3. Close the steam cock and open the drain cock for approximately 5 seconds. 4. Close the drain cock and open the steam cock. If the water does not return to its normal working level relatively quickly, a blockage may exist in the steam cock. Remedial action should be taken as soon as possible. The authorized attendant should systematically test the water gauges at least once each day and should be provided with suitable protection for the face and hands, as a safeguard against scalding in the event of glass breakage. Note that all handles for the gauge glass cocks should point downwards when in the running condition. Blow down valve. The purpose of blowing down is to drain the hardened water and check the low water cutoff and verify that the boiler feed pump starts and the burner stops operating and likewise flush out the sediments and confirm that the piping is unobstructed. Boiler Main Control Panel Boiler Control Panel provides an easily programmable and flexible way to optimize combustion across the entire load range of a boiler or burner. The control unit includes all the required functions for reliable burner management. Power control panel. Usually, the power control board has two control panels. What should the boiler operator know in the boiler control panel? We start from the top first left side indicator. One feed water tank level indicator. Two boiler water low level indicator. Three boiler water extra low level indicator. Four HSD tank level extra low indicator. 5. Flue gas temperature high. 6. Burner trip indication. 7. Control supply on. 8. Burner high flame on. 9. Burner low flame on. 10. Float activity normal. 11. Control supply on or off. 12. Burner on or off. 13. Manual firing on or off. 14. Modulation auto or high or low. 15 Manual Ignition 16 Sequence Controller Reset 17 Alarm Accept 18 Temperature Indicator and Controller 19 Modulation On 20 Steam Pressure High 21 Burner On Boiler Sequence Controller This is the heart of all operations and safety. Boiler Sequencing Panel the use of a boiler sequencing system ensures that boilers are fired in a controlled manner providing cost savings by preventing individual boilers from overfiring and cycling on and off unnecessarily. Important readings for boiler operator log note for 2 tons capacity boiler. 
Fuel consumption while high flame is on 80 liters per hours. Fuel consumption while low flame is on 60 liters per hours. Fuel pump pressure, 25 kg per cm2. Burner fuel bypass pressure, minus 12 to 15 kg per m2, at 100%. 4 to 7 kg per cm2, at 25%. Flue gas temperature, 260 degrees Celsius. High water level, water pump off, 60% in gauge glass. Low water level, water pump on, 40% in gauge glass. Water level low alarm, water pump on, 20% in gauge glass. Water level extra, water pump on, 10% in gauge glass. Low alarm boiler will trip. We have come to the end of our final content in this video. Burner settings. Distance between diffuser minus 118 to 120 mm. Plate to cone edge. Distance between nozzle and diffuser plate 10, 12 mm. Gap between electrodes 5, 6 mm. The gap between nozzle and electrodes 5, 6 mm. I am sure you learned that boiler mounting, accessories and points are to be noted by the boiler operator for day-to-day -day work in the boiler house. Thanks for watching. Hope you all subscribe to our hospitality engineering channel which is meant for the development of our young engineers as well as new engineering students. Sharing is caring don't hesitate to share with your team and engineering students. See you soon, stay tuned with us.